platoon it's 8 a.m eastern standard time it's saturday morning and you know what that means it's time for saturday morning cereals as always i'm your captain cap the cartoon bringing you the best in cartoons uh today we got a visit from the vents say hi to everybody vents you were gonna watch some cartoons yep we're gonna watch some cartoons so all right Last night, we gave away a double-signed copy of Feast on DVD. Uh, so next week, I'm putting this together. We'll do the exact same thing as last night. Bree did the set. Move some stuff around. But <laughs> something will come up missing next week during the run of the show. You tell me what it is, I'm putting together a prize pack to one lucky winner inside the United States. I'm sorry for those who live outside the United States, but... Shipping internationally is a huge pain in the butt, and it costs a lot of money. And I don't have that much money to be spending to ship stuff way out. <laughs> so, that being said, Saturday Morning Sales is brought to you by Are You Game, the best comic book collectible magic video game toy store located at 124 North Sunset Drive, Pickle, Ohio, 45356. So, somebody asked me, like, last week, is it the action-adventure episode and I was like no, no I didn't plan that so this week I did I plan on doing an action episode uh, I actually did a action episode with a subgenre episode series in the middle of that episode so it's all action uh, and in the middle I bring you the anthropomorphic action of four shows so hang in there but first up, we're bringing you more Peter Pan and the Pirates. Um, man, this is one of the later ones. I didn't watch it a lot. Watched it later when it was in repeats when my kids were younger. Uh, kind of got where I really liked it. So uh, this is Peter Pan and the Pirates. And this is Toodles and the Dragon. Enjoy. Twin King rules twice as well. 
doing it right. Now me, 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 me. John Cirque. A stick in a rock is not a sword in a stone. It does not prove anything. Well, if you're afraid to try. I said nothing of the sort. <laughs> I do not understand it. It just come right out. Slightly Serpalius. Slightly doesn't count. Me, me! Now me, me! Okay, me, Michael. Me. Sir Tristram! <laughs> I hope I'm not late, but it's time for lunch. Wendy sent me to tell you. First, it's my turn at being king. After all, I'm already king of Neverland. That seems awfully hard. It's just stuck. No one can pull it now, Toodles. As for me, I feel like getting something to eat. First one back, this next to Peter. See ya, Toodles. Wait for me. I bet I can do it. Sounds like a king. King Curly sounds good, but not as good as King Peter. Well, I moved that old state. Remember what they say, Toodles. Liars never prosper. I think you mean cheaters, John. And besides, I'm not lying. Oh, come off it, Toodles. You are too. It didn't move. <laughs> we don't throw food at the table. Wendy's right. We'll throw it outside. Peter <laughs> Pan over your dead body. Oh, you're Captain Hook, are you? Let's go, everybody. <laughs> Bye, Toodles. Your Majesty. <laughs> Just remember, Toodles, sticks and stones may break your bones. Sure, Wendy, but laughs and words will never hurt you. Right. But they do. Not for long. <laughs> Why couldn't I be King Toodles? King Toodles. Wow! We do a show Peter! King Toodles! <gasps> <gasps> Something in the air, Smee. Oh, I can't. 
A, a clouds and gold. It's a feeling deep within my steel. Something is out there. Something malignant. All hands on deck and keep a steady watch. Aye, aye, Captain, sir. Oh, I see it now! Ah, Amanda, shoot every man for himself! But we're doomed! What sort of St. George? Jukes, blast that misanthropic mastodon out of the sky! Sure, 
sure why. Watch them and get them, Peter. Whoever had the patience to take the dragon's key has to put it back in the locket. It's the only way the dragon can be stopped. What key? Doom and gloom. Peter, you have to find that key before the dragon starts breathing fire. Breathing fire? Once the dragon is strong enough, his breath turns to fire. And when that happens, Neverland is cooked. Hey, where's Toodles? He was with me when the dragon was chasing us. We've got to find him. Dragon, didn't you, Toodles? Yes. I just wanted to be a king, Wendy. And now a dragon is going to destroy Neverland. Or we're going to destroy him. All because of me. Being a king isn't just giving orders. It's taking responsibility. Toodles, you're the only one who can set things right. Right. We'll build a giant web to capture the dragon. Then I'll figure out a way to do him in. First, we'll need all the rope we can get our hands on. Put your backs into it, you lowly cars. <laughs>
first take when you need her. And Wendy, too. There you are. I'm not having fun. Oh, Michael, I don't think anybody is. Except him. Here he comes. McKeon, and I'll be right back with one to grow on. What? <laughs> Watch. Here comes a nerd. Can I play? <laughs> Who is involved? Why don't you go catch some of your butterflies or something? <laughs> this is a serious game. <laughs> so Bobby's an oddball, right? Wrong. It's funny, but believe it or not, some people have thought I was strange. But once they got to know me, they realized I wasn't. You see, it goes back to that old saying, you don't really know someone until you know someone. People have a way of surprising you if you give them a chance. Aw, uh, come on, guys. What have we got to lose? Hey, Bobby! Hey! I didn't know I could shoot like that! My 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 come on! No, you don't fucking talk! And that's one to grow on. It's Kenner's Betty Crocker Easy Bake Mini Wave Oven. Preheat 15 minutes, light bulb not included. You can mix up a yellow and a chocolate cake. You can have lots of fun with an easy bake. In just 10 minutes, it's done just right. To frost, share, taste. The Betty Crocker Easy Bake Mini Wave Oven with Betty Crocker Mixes from Kenner. Berman Key Car Collection, sold separately. We make them look flashy, but you make them run fast. The key to speed fast. Fast. The key to speed fast. Burning Key Cars, cars with the key to speed fast. Burning Key Cars, each sold separately with a keychain from Kidco. All right, hey, I hope you guys are still liking Peter Pan and the Pirates, or should I say Fox's Peter Pan and the Pirates. Uh, because uh, it's based on the, the 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 books Peter Pan and Wendy, which is funny because at a certain point you can still use the characters because the characters are in public domain, but the story's not in public domain. Public domain's a weird place to be because a lot of Lovecraft is in public domain. 
Technically, Steamboat Willie's in the public domain, but nobody's ever going to touch that because everybody is afraid to get their hands cut off by Disney. So, <laughs> the old Flesher Superman cartoons in public domain. So, anybody can show those, but you can't use Superman because Superman's not in public domain, but the cartoons are. So, public domain is just a weird place. And then stuff will be in public domain for years and years and years and years. And then suddenly it won't be in public domain anymore. I've yet to figure out how that happens. I've talked to other people who have had that happen on their shows. That's just weird. I don't understand how it can happen. But it is. But then there's all these people who go, well, I own the rights to that. And they don't. But that's a whole other story. So, we're going to keep on going down the action rails here. The train is going down the action way. We're going back to Laser Tag Academy, um, and this is episode uh, two, and I just love the fact that these laser tag guns can do everything, like they can levitate and, and, and it just weird stuff, and I was like, oh, I'm not going to lie, I have a Laser Tag Academy lunchbox, yes, I have a Laser Tag Academy lunchbox, with a thermos that I did not get at the same time. I had the thermos for years, and then ended up getting the... Uh, the lunchbox later on um but i'm also a fan of laser tag i got my laser i still got laser tag guns uh i got the little sensors uh always looking for the helmet and the hat the hat was goofy the helmet was badass so all right so this is laser tag academy this is episode two and this is skug duggery enjoy a thousand years from now a perfect world Laser tag champion Jamie Jaron is the sole possessor of starlight power. Until the resurrection of a master criminal from the past, Draxon Greer. Races through time in his quest to conquer the future. He is pursued by Jamie Jaron. Jamie must team with her ancestors, Tom, Beth, and Nikki Jaron. Join us now in their adventure through time to preserve the past, save the future, and keep the peace established by the Laser Tag Academy. If they don't show up in the next minute, I'm going to use them for the test. If you're ever late again... Now let's see what you brought me. That's the biggest animal you could find? Get it on the table. All right, turn this little fur ball into a skug. The genetic transmitter works. Now I can turn Jamie Jaron and those other little brats into skugs. Then they'll be under my control. You two, come with me. 
It's very important you follow my instructions to the letter. This disc has been very precisely set. Nothing must happen to it. Understand? Good. Put this in the genetic transmitter. Lock onto the Jaren house and turn them into skugs. <laughs> and be very careful. If you ruin this disc, it won't work, and you'll be shark bait. <laughs> Come on, Jamie, get up. Oh, why do I have to get up so early? Help me find Ralphie. He's school, remember? Here, this will help you wake up. Wash your face. <laughs> Is this how you say hello in 1987? I'm gonna tell Mom on you. I'm starved. Hey, Mom, what's for breakfast? Hey, Mom, where is it? Yeah, I want to eat. Mom, she's turned into a scud. How did that happen? I don't think she's ready to tell us. I can't believe it. And don't forget Ralphie. And what about Pop? Maybe we can catch him before he goes to work. What are we waiting for? But there's his car. Hey, Pop! Stop! Pop! Not you, too. And he gets mad at me when I ride my bike on the grass. Dreer's got to be behind this. Do you think the whole world is furry? You mean skuggized. We better find out. Why did you have to the Why would you have to walk the bar? Why do I have to cry? Now everybody but the Jaren kids are skugs. Which one of you idiots ruined this genetic transfer disc? <laughs> Shut up! Be think of it. Maybe this turn of events can work for me. I'll have every skuggized creature hunting the Jaren kids! <laughs> Now we know what Dreer's up to. He's trying to get everybody in the world after me. Yeah, and everybody's a skunk. You mean scugs. We gotta find Dreer. Pronto! Anything in the Academy Guidebook to cover this one, Jamie? Not exactly, but... Well, there's one of Dreer's scugs. How do you know that's one of Dreer's scugs? That's easy. He doesn't have any clothes on him. So what are you gonna do? Ask him to drive us to Dreer? Of course not, Yo-Yo. We're gonna follow him. Go in there and get trapped by fuzzballs? Huh, <laughs> no thanks. I'll wait here and stand guard. Come on, we don't need him. <laughs> Charles Ferguson. That's something Jamie didn't count on. Okay, on three, dash across to canned foods. Can't we go to the candy instead? Not now, Nikki. 
Charles, you think? We've got more trouble than him. Too bad this thing can't fly. It will. Starlight! Blast off! Trey's genetic transmitter has the world scuggized. How come we're not scugs? It's in our genes. We have the power. We're different than everybody else in the world. You can say that again. Everybody else has been scum. How do we change them back? Find Rear, get his genetic disc, and reverse it. Uh-huh. And just how do we reverse it? With a starlight! Yes. Then you must put that reverse disc into Dreer's transmitter. Oh, come on. Give me a break. <laughs> Where are we going to find Dreer's little doohickey? Probably at the top of some nearby mountain. Hey, quiet, guys. This is a library. There's probably more of them. Let's get out of here. What's that? Haven't you ever seen a helicopter before? Only in a museum. Look! He's not a scud. But they are. Here's our out. Man, are we glad to see you. We've got to find a transmitter. How come he's not a scug? Who cares? Can we get closer to that mountain? I see something shiny. It's got to be the transmitter. We're halfway home. What's the other half? Finding Dreer's hideout and getting the disc. Can we drop down for a closer look at that? Whoa. It's a trick. He's been scud. Whoa! Watch out! My starlight! I can't! We're getting trapped! That scuggy policeman bailed out! I've got to find a starlight. Likeness either. Remind me to borrow your razor in the morning. You want the blade or the electric? Now, what's the plan? I'm gonna get captured by Dreer. Huh? What about us? You're gonna do the capturing. And one day school looks like fun, and I'm absent. There's the prop and costume room. Okay, you guys hurry up and change. I hope nobody I know sees me. This is fun, just like Halloween. Shh. Now what, fearless leader? All we do is get one of Dreer's Skugs to take us to him. Uh-huh. And who's gonna ask? I don't speak Skug. Do you? Uh, hmm. I know. We'll fake it. <laughs> Terrific. Everybody in the world's a Skug, and we're gonna save them by faking it. Yeah! 
You did what? Washing me to four pit attacks, but you don't even duck your arm. You had Jamie Jarrett and the others within your grasp, and you bailed out? Why, I ought to. Get someone up to Eagle Mountain. Look for them. Oh, what's left of them? I forgot to bring my rubber ducky. Nikki, stop that! This is serious! <laughs> I wonder if I still have to turn in my math homework today. Hey, that's Miss Barbara, my English teacher. I wish Mom let me do that on my try. Look who she's pulling. It's Mr. Spillmeyer, the principal. He's water skiing on a deck. <laughs> Way to go, Spillmeyer! Boy, talk about an off-the-wall guy. This is a lot better than kindergarten. We're not going to run into any of Dreer's scugs around here. Yeah, that's the trouble with scugs. The right ones are never around when you need them. Say, we got Jamie and Skug. Uh, I don't know. Just jump up and down and yell. Now act Skuggy. If they find out you're not Skugs, we'll be in big trouble. And this trouble isn't big enough? They want us on the bus. This is perfect. You call this perfect? Get to Dreer's hideout. You've got to find that disc. There's one other thing. What? We gotta tell Dreer to send his scugs back to driving school. I think we're here. Hey, somebody's playing dump truck. Yeah! <laughs> Nice of you to drop in, Jamie. Good work. You'll get your reward later. I should have guessed you'd be in a sewer. The Skugs like it. You'll like it, too, when you're a Skug. Hey, there's a dip! Oops. Hello. Let's talk later. Hey! Disc. Hey, let's get out of here. This way, come on. After them, down this pipe. Now get that disc to the genetic transmitter. Reverse it and zap. Everything will be back the way it was. It was at the top of Eagle Mountain. We'll go this way and trap them from behind. Come on. Somebody's got to hold off Dreer and the Scots. How come you get to play hero? Because I'm the best with the starlight. Don't tell me. Lesson number five at the academy. Inner courage. There's an awful lot of them, Jamie. Don't sweat it. Get going. <laughs> Any ideas how we get up to the genetic transmitter, little sister? Yeah. We'll go fly a 
kite! Easy now. Get her! Look, there it is! There's a transmitter. Hold on, we're gonna land. How's that for a landing? Am I a flying ace or what? Uh, ace. We have company. Yeah. Oh, they're gonna ruin everything. Hey, <laughs> Nikki, get out of there. <laughs> Sorry, Scuggy folks, but you're about to make a fast beeline out of here. <laughs> Hold it out. All right, now uh, stick it in the transmitter. I hope this works. Wow, look at those scuggy folks. It worked. Hey, come on, guys. We gotta get back to Jamie. You'll never win, Dreer. I already have. Lower the transmitter. So long, Jamie. You'll soon be a scug. You can't turn me into a scud. You don't have the disc anymore. True. I don't have a disc powerful enough to turn everyone scuggy. But my test model here still has enough power to scuggize one lone Jaron forever. Get it! The name is Jerry. Tom Jerry. Whew. Are you all right? What took you so long? We want kite flying. Look out! <laughs> Let's get him. This will blow them away. <laughs> been some wild storm last night. Paper says the school was flooded. No kidding! I didn't even know it rained. I know what happened. A bunch of mean little weirdos and their evil boss did it all. They messed up everything. Uh, Nikki, 
I think you've been watching too much television. <laughs> Imagine. Dazzle, Glossy, Rhinestone Dolls, and Blaze Horse. Each sold separately from the Dazzle and her friends collection. New from Mattel. The Lego system starts here with the curiosity of a preschooler and the big blocks of a Duplo building set. And as imaginations grow, so does the Lego system because most every block fits every other block from every Duplo and Lego set we ever made. From preschool on up, our toys play on and on. Lego and Duplo building sets, the toys you grow up with. I want my block back. G.I. Joe Snowcat holds 10 Joes and it's got a missile rack and torpedo skis. G.I. Joe! Cobra's on the run! Yo, Joe! G.I. Joe Snowcat, other Joe and Cobra figures and equipment sold separately from... You know, the best part about it is, laser tag is still cool. I mean, they've changed it over the years and stuff like that. I wish they'd go back to the original, but there's no way you could have the black cool guns that they got then, but I'm always on the lookout for the rifle, too, so that rifle was neat. Uh, not gonna lie, I was a kid, uh, a friend of mine worked at KB Toys back when we were in school. Um, they would take the stuff and throw it away when it's like kids would open it or damage it or break it, so they just write it off and throw it away. Well, he would sell us the broken toys, so I had some broken laser tag guns and I thought it'd be cool, so I took the lenses out of the rifle and then dremeled out and put more lenses in it. Because I was like, well, if I can magnify it and shoot better lenses, I can get further away. Um, it seemed to work. I mean, I could hit people, like, way far away, but I don't know if it was just because the rifle or, you know, light. But in my, my you know, young brain, my, you know, 13-year-old brain, it made sense. So, I, I thought I was doing something cool. I don't know, maybe I was just completely ruining the toy, which I probably did. I did ruin the toy. Uh, and I have no clue what ever happened to those old school laser tag rifles. Uh, I probably sold them at one point or when I moved away. They probably they probably got lost in the garage sale. Um, that's a horror story. I'll tell you guys all later. But here you guys go. We're going to keep this thing a trucking, and we're going to go through the anthropomorphic foursome that's right it's gonna be extreme dinos it's gonna be biker mice it's gonna be street sharks and it's gonna be cowboys and mumesa but coming up first is extreme dinosaurs ah uh, yes people love it and i get it some people are bigger fans of uh dinosaurs uh i i do believe i think i like dinosaurs a little bit better um because this is very 90s um dinosaurs just I don't know, it was a better cartoon. I actually like Dino Riders, but I don't know if that counts. Um, here you guys go. This is Extreme Dinosaurs, and this is Inevitable Extermination. Ha ha, puns. The 80s, were, the 80s and 90s were full of them. So here you go. Enjoy. The three modern men's got prehistoric company. A colossal fossil view, unlike anything before between the reckless rap Extreme dinosaurs! Extreme, extreme, extreme dinosaurs! Tails that snap like thunderclaps, talking, stalking, rapid traps! Extreme, extreme, extreme dinosaurs! The classic guns are rusty form! Extreme dinosaurs! Sorry, 
<laughs> oh, that one's a fighter. Look how much it's moving. Hey, what about that one? The speckled guy. I bet you he'll be first down. Huh? Just think, in a few days, all these cute little eggs will be a whole army of rotten, heartless, bloodthirsty raptors. I'd feel sentimental if that were possible. Dinosaurs! <laughs> I want those Iguanodon brains melted into fossil fuel! In a Jurassic Minute, let me at him! <laughs> Hacks, come with me! Spinner, stay here and guard the eggs! They sure hit their tracks. Whatever they're up to, must be awfully important. Hey! Well, look who's here! Oh, hello. Goodbye! Whoa! Think a triceratops would ever choose to be in a tree? Enough already. I've located the entrance. <sighs> be careful, Stegs. Who knows what these gecko heads have brewing in there? I can't wait. They're growing something. I'll get a closer look. No, you won't! You're not going anywhere! Stick! Stick! You all right? I'm tied up at the moment. Know the feeling. Don't have the wingspan for this. My mistake. I'll remember this! Rexes fly. Raptors huh? do? Get you, Vanessa! Got a dingy? Spike, T Bone, come in, please. You won't believe what I found in here. An army of raptors. Unbelievable. Let's carnivate them! No, Spike. We can't destroy them just because they're raptors. Maybe with the proper influences, they could become good Saurians. Raptors? Good? Give me a break. If you petrol brains touch one of those eggs... <sighs> Time to go. I'll just take this one as an experiment. 
You're gonna be sorry. My babies! How could you let them find our eggs? You have the brain of an ichthyosaur! It was just one egg. And you don't think they'll be back to destroy the others? We'll stop them in their tracks. We'll chew them up and, and eat them for breakfast. Hmm. No. No! We want them to come back. Huh? What? This is the plan. A crock pot? Pork kindly lent it to me. And with a few adjustments, it should do nicely as an incubator for our little friend. Friend? A raptor will never be my friend. A creature's nature is largely shaped by its environment. But it's just an egg. Who knows what it's absorbing? I want this egg attended around the clock. It must get the best of what Quadrania and humanity have to offer. And dinosaurs, too, of course. Oh, I love this one. My mother used to read it to me every night before I went to bed. In the case of a law officer in pursuit of a felon, if said officer should find that innocent Quadranian civilians are endangered in any way, it is the officer's foremost responsibility to put the safety of the civilians first. The world was lush and clean back then, and there were hundreds of different dinosaurs. <sighs> Who knows what we might have become if Argor hadn't messed things up. However, if the humans hadn't taken over, we might not have gotten salsa and tortilla chips. Television is wonderful. It lets you see what humans think and care about, which is great, but let's get to the big enchilada here. The Home Shopping Channel. Ah, this gorgeous three-carat genuine zirconium diamond is only $199.99. Hey, it's moving. It won't be long now. Better order up a bunch more crockpots. What? Well, we can't leave all those eggs with bad rap. It's... it's... it's not right. No way. They deserve better. They're gone. Everything's gone. Not everything. Be some kind of sleeping gas. I uh, can't keep my eyes open. Any time now. Think of it. My very own army of raptors. Come on, move it! Extreme dinosaurs come in. T-Bone, Spike! T-Bone! Bullseye! Please respond! Thanks, quick! Look at this! The island nation of Coconuts is completely cut off. <laughs> the aliens were, were very strong and very scary. I'd be chased everyone into the prison and then lock the doors. Aliens? What do you mean? Hey, these aliens from Mars. Huge lizard guys with clubs and tails. It's the raptors. There are also unconfirmed reports that the military base here on the island has been seized. They've taken over a military base? Since 1960, Coconuts has been a strategic base of nuclear operations for the United Nations. We've got to find T-Bone now! Huh? 
I have increased the temperature, hoping that this one would hatch a little sooner than the others. Wow! Ah! That's no raptor! No, it appears to be an ostrich. And he appears to have imprinted on you. Like he thinks I'm his mom or something. That's completely ridiculous. Perhaps he's hungry. Likes tortilla chips. Try some salsa. Good, huh? Ditto. Ditto. That's not a bad name for you. <laughs> Ditto. <laughs> I've got to be there when Bad Rep finds out he has an army of ostriches. It might not be so funny with all those missiles at his disposal. You're right. Let's find T-Bone. <laughs> you behave yourself, understand? They're in here. I can smell them. Stay right there. This you can't copy. slept like that since the Ice Age. You haven't been asleep long, but a lot has happened. Yeah, I'll bet. Fill me in. Buckle up, guys. Destination, Poconos Islands. Quadranium light speed. The military base has enough missiles to blow up half the cities along the Pacific Rim. In Bad Rap's claws. Scary. I hate to think what he'll do when he realizes he's got an army of ostriches instead of raptors. With their temperature settings, I figure their ostriches will start hatching any time now. Get ready, guys. And remember, Code 695. Protection of people and animals is of the highest importance. Got it, Chedra. You sure you can count on him? Like a stegosaurus. <laughs> Right, guys. Let's send them back to the Ice Age! This is it. They're coming. A new age of Raptorian civilization! Saurian Stomp! those people out on my way <laughs> dinosaurs let's nook them what and ruin this planet for my raptor children no way guard those eggs with your miserable lives or your lives will be even more miserable than they already are Uh-oh. What do you mean, uh-oh? 
Those aren't raptors. They look like raptor eggs. I hear parenthood is all the rage. I'll show you rage. Ditto. You know what to do. Chedra? No! It's still launching! Ten seconds, nine, eight... Chedra, the control panel is smoked! We can't do anything for it. It's up to me. And me! Prison bus completely ready for duty. Great, Bullseye! But how can we stop this thing without blowing up the base? Don't know. We can catch up with it before it explodes? Guess so. Chedra Bodzak. I'm honored. <laughs> uh. Look what you're teaching him. <laughs> hey guys, check it out. Though the crisis on Kokinos Island appears to be over, we're getting more strange stories from the citizens here. You say that good aliens saved you? Yes, and they stopped the missile from launching with their spaceship. Uh-huh. So where is this spaceship now? It takes good aliens home to Mars. Mars? <laughs> oh, right. This is great. What I'd like to know is where the bad aliens went. The bad aliens, they go that way. Keep failing. I don't get it. Why doesn't Hax have to do this? Why do I always get stuck with these loser jobs? Oh, shut up and keep bailing. Faster, Spinner! Hurry up!
from Kenner's Star Wars, the Empire Strikes Back collection. Action figures each sold separately. I'm Lando. Who's there? I'm Solo on a mission with a rebel soldier. What's your mission? We're fighting the Empire. And we need your help. Han Solo, Rebel Soldier, Lando Calrissian, and Bespin Guard, each sold separately from Star Wars, the Empire Strikes Back collection, new from Kenner. Hi, my name is Roland, and these are fruit wrinkles. They're very small, but they taste like a whole bunch of fruit in your mouth. And these are fruit roll-ups. They're big and flat, and you can twist them and tear them. Whoa! With real fruit, that would be really messy. But fruit roll-ups and fruit wrinkles are made with real fruit. Right, Mom? Right, Roland. I like them because when they put in the fruit, they put in the fun, too. <laughs> you know, I keep getting comic books through the shop that people have just completely destroyed, but yet those are the ones that are bagged and boarded. I had ones that weren't bagged and boarded, which were in great shape. But the ones that were bagged and boarded were destroyed. So weird. Uh, not gonna lie, this might be the creepiest toy ever. It's Patty Prayer doll. It's a doll that you put it in prayer position. Creepy. All right. I hope you guys still liking the stream dinos because we're going right into biker mice. Biker mice from Mars. And I still think it's weird that it is a licensed Marvel product that somehow Disney has not figured out how to bring out. Uh, I say that one of these days they're going to like shut me down and they're like no more biker mice. Or... So this is Biker Mice from Mars and this is the masked motorcyclist. Enjoy. What a revoltingly charming example of the urban underclass. Grease pit. <laughs> yeah, boy. A set about making it worthy of condemnation, would you please? Okay. Destroy it! Oh, yeah, 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 you got it, boys. Oh, and by the way, dear boy, places like this are often rodent infested. A perfect place to set up Operation Mousetrap, wouldn't you say? Gotcha, boss. That's a surefire mouse attractor. Now for the real thing. Oh, Charlie, do we gotta do this? Yeah, come on, babe. They didn't cover floor scrubbing back in cool school. You're the ones who spilled the transmission fluid. Besides, I'm busy. Emergency, emergency. Fires and explosions at 15th and J Street. They're playing our song. Come on, bros, let's ride. Oh, no, you don't. This time, I'm getting in on the action. I got it! Uh, 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 sorry, Charlie girl, but this is a job for men. Studly men. Such as ourselves. Especially me. Oh. Hold the board, babe. We'll be back. Let's rock and ride! Oh, those mice. Someone sure did a number on this place. Yeah, and I bet that number adds up to one big fat cheese. Limburger. Help! Someone help Guys, me! Guys, there! Help! Help! Someone help me! Someone's trapped. Come on! Help! Help! Someone help me! Someone's been pulling our tails. Ain't nobody trapped here. I can fix that, mousies. Can't move! Now we're trapped. Talk about your male bonding.
Say, doll, want to watch me stomp some goons? Mono, see if you can get those fire trucks in here. No problem. Feels right at home. Mama! Sweetheart, you are awesome. Whoever you are. Uh, I want to go home. <laughs> oh, show them, huh? Dog? Dom? Where'd you go? Hey, Charlie, we're back. Oh, the place looks great, babe. Any more of that root beer left? So, did you save the city again? Or did you doubt? Hey, not only did we save the city, but we met the single most awesome banker, babe, in the entire universe. Whoopee. Hey, she looked cool. She looked rad. She looked cool. She, she looked rad. rad. She looked cool. cool. She looked rad. I don't really want to Oh, boy. A grease pit. You screwed it up again! Sorry, boss. Well, I have no time to deal with you now. Plutok is in desperate need of raw petroleum products. Now get out. Come, Uncle. Yes, your molding act. I need oil, lots of oil, by Thursday. Hmm. The local refinery should have more than enough your kingly curdledness. <laughs> and I know just the fellow to help us get it. Corroder Cody, at your service, partner. Corroder Cody has the unique ability to dissolve metal at a touch. That refinery will be slagging thick. You... You... Hmm. Will this talent of yours work on other metals, like motorcycles? Sure as shoot, partner. Excellent. This looks like the place. All right, partners. Let's start spilling oil. did a Beatles tune? That's no song. That's a distress call. The indicators say it's coming from the refinery. Let's go. Uh, no dice, mm -hmm. This is macho muscle He-Man work. 
remember? I noticed you left the part out about brains. Hey, it's for your own good, Charlie. You might get hurt. Say, maybe that masked motorcyclist lady will be there. Oh, yeah. Hey, if she can do it, why can't I? <laughs> <She's> cute. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Charlie, we think you're the best motorcycle mechanic this side of Mars. But the masked motorcyclist is really something special. But let's face it, sweetheart. It takes some Mondo motorcycle madness to pull off the stunts she does. I hope you're listening to yourself. I'd love to record this. Hey, speaking of recording, you got your camera, Vinny? Oh, you bet, bro. Gotta start chronicling my exploits for posterity. Okay, enough talk, guys. Let's ride! Oh, what a bunch of wrench heads. You boas don't have much use for doas. My, my, my. Looks like the old gang again, plus one. Ha! I didn't know you could add, bro. Huh. I may not know everything about math, but I know how to total things. I think it's time to knock these mangy prairie dogs down the side. <sighs> Feels like Limburger's sitting on me. Say bye-bye to the rat race, Mousy. <laughs> <laughs> Pretending you see something behind me? You won't catch me falling for that old trick. <laughs> I gotta get some health insurance. <laughs> for me. I can tell. Whoa, ma'am, that's one righteous horse you got. I'd sure like to check out your bike sometime. Wow, what a piece of work. And the drivers are not bad either. Time to vaporize them vermin. Yow, that thing's nastier than a shark with a machine gun. Then we better go fishing. <laughs> You're messing with the baddest mamma jammers from Mars, you metal meathead. Yeah, what he said. Quit hosting around, big bag. Better let them dang bothered. Keep your hands off at the control. You keep your hands off at the Strolling for the big one. Let's make this look good, bro. Come on, I got a babe to impress. Yo, they're gonna rap us. Chicken! <laughs> Get the way, dog. <laughs> Woo, we put the live one. Let's get real. <laughs> hey, this one's a keeper. Get us out of here, you idiot! We're too heavy, I gotta dump the load. Wahoo! There she blows! Where's that rocket lever? Busy part! Stop touching things! We gotta get out of here! Dang! Charlie will never believe us about the one that got away. Hey, speaking of which, where's that masked motorcyclist? Oh, oh man, she split again! Oh, maybe I'm just too cool and too handsome and stuff. <sighs> Makes her nervous. Yeah. Or maybe it's just your incredible humility. Mm hmm Could be, you know, could be. <sighs> Boy's got an ego bigger than Limburger's rear end. But at least I had this baby running. Let's go strike some prints of my new princess. <laughs> About time. I have other things to do, you know, besides... Oh, yeah. What a night. What a fight. What a dog. What a bike. What a bunch of... So, I suppose Ms. Wonderful was there again tonight. <laughs> was she ever? Yep, that lady can cook all right. But you know, one thing makes me curious. How does the masked motorcyclist always know? Oh, hey, these things are cold. Well, excuse me. Maybe you should ask your hot bim bet buddy to warm them up. Oh, holy moly. Something we said? Failure again. If I don't obtain a vast 
quantity of oil soon, the High Chairman will render it from my hide. I must find another source of oil. Uh, you mean like an oil field, Buzz? Mmm, oil. Crude oil. <gasps> I've got it! An oil field! I'll go straight to the source, yes! Truly, I am a genius. <laughs> yes, yes. Carbuncle! Have you bellowed your malodorous nest? I'd like an oil field, Carbuncle. All of it. <gasps> no problem, old rounded one. As a matter of fact, I have just this moment imported Corroda Cody's Rustmobile. <laughs> Oops, uh, sorry about that. It should enable us to destroy every derrick in an oil field, creating a huge spill for you to uh, suck up and ship to Plutarch. Excellent. And if those blasted by Kamaisa and their cycle sidekick barge it again, them hombres will see how much fun them pretty pipes are when they're nothing but puddles of slag. <laughs> Motorcyclist is a mean motorcycle, Mama Jamma, huh? <laughs> Heck, she's almost as cool as me. <laughs> almost. Oh, your move, Vincent. And <laughs> no way you could just jump that bike of hers. Jump, 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 jump. Hey, that was my last man. You think that's jumping? Watch this. Jump, jump, jump. <laughs> Checkers is a quiet game. I've noticed that none of the games we play are quiet. I hope we didn't wake up Charlie. Nope. Still asleep. Hey, what's that? That's Morse code. What's it say, Moto? It says. Wait, she wants us to follow her. <laughs> yeah, I'll follow her anywhere. Oh, sweetheart. Ooh, should we tell Charlie we're going? Nah, she's out like a light. Let's keep it that way. Let's rock and ride. Hey, it's the biker mice. And that silly friend of theirs. Stay clear of that guy's rose. All the oil in the world won't stop his rust. Get to work, Cody. Greasefoot and I will handle these wretched rodents. You don't got it. Y'all keep them busy. And me and Rusty will take out the main derrick. Once that thing blows, y'all gonna have more oil than you ever imagined. <laughs> So slick. Come on, guys. Uh, and, and you too, man. Yeah, you could shred with the best of them, babe. 
Heads up, Rose. Cody's almost to the main derrick. We best take our leave. When that derrick blows, the resulting wave of oil will wash away these vermin for good. <laughs> now, let's give our grease pit a barrel of laughs. <laughs> we'll have them rolling. Yeah, take this, Mousy. <laughs> I don't think this would be a good time to ask Mr. Limboy to get a raise. Well, that should hold him for a while. Rose, look! Oh, no. Charlie, Charlie, wake up! It's a masked motorcyclist. She's hurt. Her helmet's melted. Come on, we're trying to get it off. We need your help. Charlie! <laughs> Charlie? Hi, guys. Surprise! Charlie! But, but, she, but she was, you are... I'm just ordinary, huh? Would just get in the way. Wasn't that how you put it? Uh-oh. You could have told us. I did tell you, you adorable fur brains, but you never listen. It was my new prototype bike for Washington. I figured I could test it out <laughs> and prove something to you lummoxes at the same time. Well, you did that all right. Me and my big mouth. Yep. Your foot fits inside it very well, if I do say so. Hey, we owe you a big apology, babe. At least. But Charlie, I, I mean, the reason we didn't want you with us is because you might get hurt, and you did. I don't want you getting hurt. Moto, you and the guys all run risks. The point is, I didn't get hurt because I'm a woman. I got hurt because I did something dangerous. Oh, and I think I'll retire for a while. Well, you still proved your point. I guess none of us should judge a book by its cover. Even if it is leather-bound. Please. Say, but what about Limber? It's a shame to think he'll get away with all that destruction. Now, on the way back, I sent him a package. Special delivery. Oh, what's this? No! No! Perhaps I should get into a new line of work. A M C control M machine A C M air control machine. The car you control with air A C M air control machine. People stop and stare air control machine. You are in control. Shift it here and there air control machine. Steer it left and right. Control machine. Are you control with air? ACM. ACM Air Control Machine comes complete as shown from Buddy L. Airlandia, the Air Raiders Command Post prepares for the Tyrant's Dragon Wind attack. Hit it with everything we've got! Thunderclaw! Launch! Remote missiles! Fire! Hold on to your helmets, man! Command post and claw and tyrant's dragon wind each complete with figures. Alright. Hope you guys are still liking the biker mice. Uh, very much turtles knockoff, but most of the most of these were at that point. Uh, there was the land of the especially the comic books were really bad with the with the knockoffs. Like you had radioactive black belt hamsters, uh, you had uh, co commando kangaroos, you had all that stuff. Because, man, everybody wanted to try to cash in and get some of that TMNT money. So, <clears throat> all right, guys. I'm not going to lie. I'm still fighting a little bit of being sick. I was sick last week. i uh, sorry because I couldn't pop into the to the feed. I felt like crap. I was literally falling asleep during the episode. I apologize. Uh, Vince is over at Coffin. Um, we did not have the COVID. We all tested negative. Uh, I just think we got a bad case of con crud, or I did, so we'll see. But here we guys go, we are bringing Street Sharks, Street Sharks, 
Um, Street Sharks was actually fun. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of a cool thing. I was, you know, sharks. My kids love watching shows about sharks, all that fun stuff. Sharks are always cool. Yeah, you, know, you somebody goes, well, you know, you're always like, whoa, what, what's your sign? What's this? What's your favorite dinosaur? What's your favorite shark? What's your favorite shark? Uh, Brandon's was a bull shark. Not gonna lie, he loved the bull shark. Uh, <clears throat> I'm always a sucker for the great white. Not gonna lie, I, I know it's cheesing. Great white, just a great white. But hammerheads were awesome too. It's because they looked weird, man. They had a, like, like they like they had a spoiler on their head. All right, so this is Street Sharks, this is episode five, and this is Lone Shark. Enjoy. Some say they're just no good. Half shark, half man, fighting evil. That's the plan. Street Sharks. Street Sharks. Street Sharks. Sheila, they might be dangerous, but then again, that blue one is kind of cute. What do you say, Laverne? Anything you want me to. Tall, blue, and jawsome. Then when I say five ultra humongos with quadruple shakes, all you have to say is yes. <sighs> yes. And could you throw in one of those toasters for good measure? I like a shark with an appetite. Mm, just the way I like it. Crunchy. What, no water? No way! Even if we can't figure out what Piranha is polluting the city water supply with, we know he's done something. Maybe so. But the water supply doesn't seem to be hurting that guy over there. Or anyone else who's drinking it. I know. And that's another mystery we have to solve. What luck! The street sharks and that mud puddle were made for each other! <laughs> huh? <laughs> Guys, that's one Seaviet who needs to be taught a lesson! It's 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 Creep. <laughs> Not on your life, Finn Face! He's heading for the freeway! Shark attack! attack. <laughs> Heads up, Vision City! Looks like the freeway's turning into the free-for-all way! We got motorized sharks! We got a bad-looking lobster thing pulling a trailer! And we got Pop Rock the Heat! Vision City's finest! Out to make shark the fresh catch of the day! Hit the brakes! 
and we lost our chance to find out what he was carrying in his trailer. Unfortunately, it's gonna bite even worse if we don't lose these guys as well. Follow my lead! to assure you that Dr. Paradigm's tests have proved there's been no genetic tampering with our city's water supply. Thank you, Madame Mayor. But if you want something real to worry about, good people, worry about the street sharks. If people had any sense, they'd be worried about you, piranha breath. Actually, what I'm worried about right now is what Slobster had in that trailer. Say hello to your new playmate, a squid from Australia's Great Barrier Reef, and the most vicious branch of the Amastrepes family. But once my bioengineering genius has transformed his genetic matrix, my newest creation should be able to stop the street sharks cold. <laughs> Lena. It's Michael. Sorry to interrupt, but when you worked for Dr. Bolton, did he ever keep any of his top-secret info at his home? He worked a lot at home. Why? One of our patrol units spotted a light inside. I'm going back inside. Whoever broke in was smart enough to bypass the alarm system. Looks like he left a little something behind. We'd better take a sample back to forensics for analysis. There's another strange thing as well. For a slime-dripping perpetrator, this burglar was awfully interested in these family snapshots. Professor Bolton and his four sons. I wonder... Dr. Paradigm? Something just came in over the police scanner. Well, out with it! There's been a break-in at Professor Bolton's house, and the police found unidentifiable slime on the wall. Which means it could have been left by the genetically altered version of Professor Bolton himself. And whoever was in there not only slimed your father's lab, but also rifled through your old family albums. Slime? I bet I know where it came from. You got that right. It smells like Dr. Sliminoid is up to something. I got just two words for this, Jawbreakers. And you know what they are! Paul Day! Shark attack! Now let's rip! I just love it when Dr. Paradigm violates the order of nature. And now, for the moment of truth! <laughs> Is there something wrong with him that he can't talk? <laughs> Nothing wrong. <laughs> Nothing wrong at all, Calamari. Not Calamari, Slobster. In fact, with his enhanced tentacle strength and projectile capacity, not to mention this genetically altered venom, which may be just the thing to help capture the sharks, I believe that Kilamari would be a far more suitable name. Even the genetic loyalty implant appears to be a complete success. Slobster, your selection of this specimen is the best work you've ever done. Thank you, Dr. Paradigm. Now, to test my next variant on this formula, I think a truly bad-tempered Moray eel from the family Morena Helena would be just the thing. 
<laughs> Whoever was here was performing a biochemical workup on tap water. Yeah, and looking at my old football pictures. Hey! You don't think it could have been... Nah. I wouldn't say no so quickly, Jab, because someone's been copying some files from Dad's hard drive onto this disk. And Dad was the only person who knew the password that would let you do that kind of thing. In that case, maybe some of the answers we're looking for are right here. Remember, your mission is to recover any research data that Professor Bolton may have left behind. And if the sharks show up, Kilimari has my permission to field test his new weaponry on them. Shark alert! What you tapping into? Trouble! And it's coming up fast from below! We're nearly there. Ten to one! This isn't an earthquake, which means... It's fin kicking time! Right! We gotta tear the top off this tin can first! <laughs> Teach you to knock? Knock on this shark face. Hey! Oh, stay away! What the? Oh, no! Oh, no! Stop! Dr. Paradigm doesn't want to kill them. He wants them taken alive. Hey! I'm just having some fun. Whoa! What the? That does it! Cause now I'm mad! Oh great! Another Sevia surprise from Piranoi! We got a surprise for him! Shark My fin! Back me up, Jab! Oh, this may be just what Dr. Paradigm is looking for. I'm taking him down! Huh? We can analyze this sample and come up with a cure. Well, the CV has grabbed Dad's computer disk. And his computer's a goner as well. Forget the disk! <laughs> we need to get Jab out of here fast! You have done well, my creatures. And what do we have here? Incredible! He figured out most of the missing steps. So... Mm -hmm. Ha! I never thought of that. So simple. And yet only a genius would have realized that the addition of some simple carbohydrates is all the first stage of formula needs to be complete. First a few drops from Fish and City's water supply. Which the professor and I contaminated back while you were still skulking around a coral reef. And the nice, fresh carbohydrates which Dr. Bolton so thoughtfully recommended. And finally, a dash of my stage 2 genetic activation enzyme. 
Look at the little squeaky goat. Did you say little squeaky? Incredible, Doctor. And the best part of it is that my version of the formula includes a complete obedience factor. Watch! No! Complete obedience? A part of the formula is still missing. Would you like to experiment on a shark, Doctor? Kilimari learns quickly, doesn't he? <laughs> the sharks were sighted heading west on 15th Street, wherever that is. Well... I can find them. The one I speared should be an easy catch. <laughs> hey, sharks, here's the scoop. Based on the preliminary info you've given me, I put out the word on the internet to see if anyone out there in cyberspace can help us with the squid venom antidote. Gotta go, Vince. Whoa! Hard Looks like we got some squid to fry. Slabu, let them have it! Anchovy breath. Well, here we go again, fellow visionites. As the creatures from the asphalt ocean duke it out on the highways and byways of our fair city. Come on, jawbreakers, follow me. Where's streaks? Right here. Wherever here is. We've got to check on Jam. Oh no! Gone. Huh? No! Slamu, get that poison sample back to Lena and work on the antidote. Streaks, you and I are going after the Seviots. All right, sharks, we've got you surrounded. Come out peacefully. Put your hands over your head immediately. Hammerhead, and we're heading back. In case you hadn't noticed, you fools, you have company. I work, I slave, I expend my genius, and I will not allow you serious to ruin all my plans by leading the street sharks to my secret lab. Take our prisoner to the auxiliary warehouse on the other side of town, and if you can't use him as bait to capture his brothers as well, then use the auto-destruct system to eliminate them all! Let's stash our catch of the day somewhere where he won't cramp our style. That should do it. Let's go get those sharks, but where are they? I don't know. Dr. Paradigm said they were right behind us. What? That's the difference between Seviants and Street Sharks. We're smart! Yeah! Your fin is mine! No way to dent your face. Come to Bop, a little stooge! Not a chance, he's luck. You're only making it hard on yourself. Give it up, Needle Nose. Well, if you can't go over or under an obstacle, then you've only got one choice left. And that's to go through it! <laughs> In the thick of action, the streaks is still looking good. <laughs> Save the fin check for later, streaks! Let's grab our bro and go! We've got to stop them! It's I'm to trigger the auto-destruct sequence now! Uh, my pleasure. Ha, uh, this place auto-destructs in 30 seconds. Looks like we've got you now. You sure do! But it's, uh, 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 Stop fooling around and get me out of here! We've got 10 seconds to... Auto 
yourself distract! Shark Shark Time! Hate to bend your nose out of joint, but it's the only way. There you go, Jeb. Easy does it. I promise. To get well right away. But if you feed me any more of that rotten tasting tide pool tonic, I'm gonna spout. <laughs> <laughs> we never told you how the info on the antidote came in. That's right. Huh? Whoever it was bypassed the normal channels on the internet, hacked their way through my internal security, and gave us a perfect formula for an antidote for jab. And for a vaccine, which ought to prevent the rest of you from having a severer reaction to Kilimari in the future. <gasps> Whoa! It sounds like we're getting another upload. And this one's about water. I wonder if this has any connection to the computer disk the Seaviet stole. Is it possible? Do you think... I mean... Could it be? Whoa! Really what do you think so? Easy? It's rolling and it's rocking and there's not much gonna stop them. It's the 6x6 High Riser Hercules with six wheel drive and independent suspension. It's rocking and it's rolling and it's picking up the load. It's the 6x6 High Riser Mammoth sold separately, ready for tough terrain and your toughest adventures. It's rocking and it's rolling, almost no place it's not going. Two AA batteries not included. The 6x6 High Riser Hercules and Mammoth each sold separately from Ideal. We found a tough terrain and made it even tougher to find out just how much the 6x6 high risers could handle. With six wheel power drive and six wheel independent suspension, high risers keep going even when the going gets really tough. Batteries not included. Crunch Canyon playset sold separately. The 6x6 high risers with six wheel drive from Ideal. ACM Air Control Machine. Air Control Machine. People stop and stare. Air Control Machine. You are in control. Shift it here and there. Air Control Machine. Spirit left and right. Air Control Machine. Are you control with air? ACM. ACM Air Control Machine comes complete as shown from Buddy L. Airlandia, the Air Raiders Command Post prepares for the Tyrant's Dragon Wind attack. Get it with everything we've got. Command post and claw and Tyrant's Dragon Wind each complete with figures. Brings drawings to life and life to your drawings. Batteries not included from Irwin. Moving out! Up and hills, down and tails, as we hit the dusty trail. On the end, we go marching along. We are fast, we are boss, we've got guts to squish and squash. Army and we go marching along. Army and then it's high, high knee for the end Sure goes far. Here's a coward, truth, and a military car. Army gear. What's that cover?
nervous that I see. Well, my satellite, troops and artillery, an army and an army, all right here. We're the volunteers for Army Gear. Join the Army Gear, the army and an army, open to reveal two worlds of battle action from Galoo. And now you can bring all the action of Batman home with the Batmobile, action figures, and more. Each item sold separately from Sharon Toy. Psst, over here. I'm a boglin. Me and my buddies need a place to hide out. <laughs> Come a little closer. Oh, did I scare you? Oh, I do that so well. If you take us home, we'll kiss your Aunt Martha. <laughs> we'll eat your peas. And we hope you know lots of girls. Hey, the name's Boglins. You sold separately, and we're looking for good homes. Maybe yours. <laughs> Hey, hope you guys are liking the street shark still. Because we're going to keep on going down this train track. And we're bringing you the Cowboys of Moo Mesa. Um, unfortunately, when I started airing the Cowboys of Moo Mesa, uh, I was airing them out of order. Uh, I unfortunately figured that out like three episodes in. I am sorry. We're trying to get this back where we're showing them in order. Because uh, this is actually... Um, Episode 3, but it's the 5th episode we're aired. Sorry. Um, and this is another one. Because you know, we already had Skug Duggery for uh, the uh, laser tag. I'm drawing a blank here. So, and this is Legend of Skull Duggery. From Cowboys. Wild West Cowboys in Moo Mesa. To the western skies with the sound of a thousand cattle drives The chosen few would see the light and find the wrong with right Up on the mesa, high above the clouds, there's a world apart from all the rest On the mesa, live the real cowboys, standing up for law and order And living by the code of the west Hey there. It was a pretty sight, wasn't it? Small potatoes, kid. Yeah! Woo! I can sure see why you were rodeo champ, Calamity. You got you some style there. Big old yep to that, Miss Kate. Oh, shucks. I bet I can get this one. I'm a cowboy, too, you know. Yippee, huh? Uh-oh. Stuff. You okay, Cap Find? Yeah. Thanks, y'all. Okay, youngins. I got another job more fitting to your size. Great! Just great. Here you are. A little rubbing, and it'll be as spotless as a groundhog. You don't mean the whole attic, do you, Miss Calamity? Yes, indeedy. Now you put your mind to it, and you'll have it all done in three shakes of a lamb's tail. I'm gonna be out helping the boys, and if you need me, give a holler. Otherwise, I'll see you at supper time. This ain't no fun. We finally have a big outing at Miss Calamity's, and we're stuck cleaning. 
You all right, Jake? I think so. Hey, look at here. Gee, thanks, Jake. Holy cow, it's a diary of Tom Duggery. Who's Tom Duggery? Goodness, Jake. Everyone knows about the ghost at Skull Mountain. Ghost? Yeah, a long time ago, there was this mean old miner named Tom Duggery who staked his claim up on Skull Mountain. Day after day, night after creepy night, Duggery looked for silver. Then one night he struck it rich. He hid all the silver in a secret chamber in the mine because he was too greedy to share with anybody. Then what happened? Before he could get the silver out, there was a terrible storm. Lightning struck the mine. It started trembling something fierce. Gosh, what'd they do? Well, old Duggery was so greedy, he wouldn't leave his silver. And the mine collapsed, trapping him. And legend says his ghost, Skull Duggery, haunts the mountain to this day. <laughs> and ever since, nobody has left Skull Mountain alive. <gasps> Yeah, they say Skull Duggery eats anyone who goes into the mine and then spits out their bones. Oh. Hey, it's a map. Old Tom Duggery must have drawn it himself. Look, it shows the entrance to the mine. And there's the secret chamber. I don't know why we gotta come all this away. Calamity ain't gonna contribute one red cent to Mayor Baloney's beautify the mayor's making fun. I reckon that's true, but it's better than hearing Sheriff Terrible holler at us all day. He thinks we're the biggest yokels west of Moat River. What do you say we use the map and find the silver mine? Silver, silver mine? I know, you just stay steep. I think we could really find it. You betcha. We'd be the talk of Cowtown. What about the attic? We could do it later. What's the matter, Jake? You ain't scared, are you? Me? <laughs> of course not. <laughs> we can handle old Duggery in a silver mine. I am a junior deputy, you know. Come on, let's do it. Let's find that silver. I'm game. Come on, Jake. I guess a creepy ghost is better than doing chores. Hey, Cody? Carly? Wait for me! <laughs> Silver! We's gonna be rich! R I I T C B Rich! What do you think the sheriff's gonna say? <laughs> Nothing! Cause we ain't telling him. This here is one job we can do by our lonesome. Look here, Boot Hill. We got to be thinking of our future. Sheriff Terrible sure to promote us when we waltz into town loaded with silver. Oh, yeah. Maybe even he's gonna let us rob a bank all by ourselves. <laughs> Boot Hill, I think this is the beginning of big things for you and me and you. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming round the mountain. She'll be coming round the mountain. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. The map says the entrance should be right here. <laughs> Do you see any b b bones? No entrance, no bones. Entrance has got to be around here somewhere. Oh, I guess you got to go home since we can't find it and all. <laughs> We're not going anywhere till we find that silver. Lesson, of course, you're afraid. Oh. 
I might have exaggerated that part. Thank goodness. I didn't think it'd be so creepy. Come on, the map says the secret chamber's this way. Jake, like Marshall Moose says from the cold of the West, a cowboy starts the task well and steers it through. That's not what you said about cleaning the attic. Uh -uh. There's nothing to be scared of. Remember, you're with a junior deputy. <laughs> Yahoo! One silver mat for the asking. I told you it'd be easy. Skullduggery. Ray! That ghost star is a lot of hooey. Now get on in. This way. Maybe the ghost wants us to leave. I like that idea. You know, when you go a visit and Miss Lily says, never arrive empty-handed. Wait a minute, not the pie. Can't we give Skullduggery the carrots? It's okay. It's Miss Calamity's rhubarb pie. Go right ahead, then. This rhubarb pie. <laughs> We're not far behind. Yeah, but which way is that ghost handles, huh? I don't know. You check out the left and I'll take the right. <laughs> you go left, I'll go right. <laughs> no, you go left and I'll go right. I want to go right. Fine, you win, I'll go right. You take whatever's left. <laughs> now that's better. <laughs> now, which way is left? Oh, boy, I'm pushed. All I want is a hot bath. <sighs> yep. Mm, and a good meal. Yep. Well, you're in luck. I baked up some of my homemade rhubarb pie just for you boys. Don't that hit the spot? No. No. didn't fall asleep up here. Well, I'll be. This place is a mess. I ain't like the youngins. What's this? See map inside. Land sakes. Boys! Boys, put your saddles back on. We got trouble. What's up? Looks like the youngins decided to have an adventure of their own. A hunting silver up on Skull Mountain. I don't like the looks of it. Something's a hoof. I've never seen it like that. A mine's a dangerous place, especially an old one. 
We best find them quick. Let's rodeo. Ain't we ever gonna get there? We've been walking for hours. Well, we're on the right track. Huh? <laughs> Weird. Let's hightail it. Ah! It's Gold Gallery! I hate trespassers! I'm gonna get you! Please don't eat us! Get out of my mind! Get out! He's coming! Don't hurry, coming! Leave my silver alone! Boat hell! Boat hell! Where in tarnation are you? <laughs> Without the map, we can't find our way out. <laughs> we didn't even tell Miss Calamity where we's going. They're never gonna find us. I guess coming to School Mountain wasn't such a good idea. I'm sorry, Jake. Don't worry, Carly. I'll think of something. <laughs> Jake, what would mood? I know. <laughs> What's that? It's a list of Code of the West fans. Got it. Even if you are on the right track, if you just sit there, you're gonna get run over. What? It says that in the code? Yep, right here. It means we can't give up. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Let's rodeo. That's it. We'll follow the tracks. Over here, fellers. Okay, everybody. Watch your backsides now. Uh, Moo? You don't think there really is a ghost, do you? I'm, I'm just asking because uh, Dakota might get scared. Say what? <laughs> just trying to be helpful. Cody! Carly! Jake! We did it! We found School Duggery's silver! He's not gonna lock it! He don't. <gasps> Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> we got you, Jake. <laughs> Don't panic. Just calm. Keep your head up. <laughs> It's coming from down that shaft. <laughs> In there. Oh, holy heifer, it's Skullduggery for real! <laughs> Let's rodeo. That won't keep him for long. <laughs> Hang on, youngins! Gotcha, Captain. Gotcha. You're okay. Marshal Moo, you came. This here is my mind. And since you wanted my silver, you ain't never leaving it. Get the youngins out. I'm gonna put an end to this ghost story. Think again, Duggery. <laughs> Hmm, cave in. Not a bad idea. Huh? Say goodbye, Marshal. Obliged to. Yippee, I okay! There, there. It's gonna be all right, Jake. Where's Marshall Moo? He didn't get out. It's all my fault. We shouldn't have come up here. Oh, Moo. Glad to see you coming to your senses, Catbite. Marshall Moo, you're, you're safe. Well, it was a little harder landing than I figured for, but I made it. But you were... Uh, Moo, I mean, how did you escape? Well, now, kid, that's a story for later. Right now, we best get these young'uns home. Jake and I'll clear the plates, Miss Calamity. Then we'll finish the attic. I'm sorry I worried y'all. It was my idea to sneak out. I guess I kind of took on more than I could chew. Well, as the code of the West says, it takes a big bull to admit when he went astray. Thanks, Moo. But I reckon when I get home, Miss Lily's gonna punish me real good, though. Well, here it is, folks. One of my homemade rhubarb pies. I'll just get the forks. Oh, no, I don't be hasty my with rhubarb is out of season. You know, Cody, I think you learned your lesson. Besides, even Dakota agrees Calamity's rhubarb pie is punishment enough. Yep. Hey, you got that right. Yeah, sure. wait till uh, I'll pass That's on that fork, man. Of that stuff. That's for sure. <laughs> After these messages. They're going push ups in Peoria. They're jogging in LA. They're exercising everything in lots of crazy ways. What take it from the chopper? Hey, the chopper, yeah, that's me. <laughs> if you want to have great choppers, exercise your teeth. Exercise those choppers, really chew, chew, chew. Exercise those choppers on some good hard food. Your molars grind, your canines tear, incisors bite right through. So exercise those choppers on some good hard food. Pumpernick, carrot sticks, crunchy fruits and nuts. Things you really have to chew. 
will make your choppers tough. So take it from the chop, cause choppers know it's true. Exercise is great, but exercise your choppers too. Hey, chopper, how about running a few laps with us? Hey, later, man. I'm eating a celery stick. This is hard exercise. Not a story all morning, Toucan. I even miss breakfast. Your nerves for news can't find a scoop. Let mine rewards on more flavor of fruit. More fruit flavor? Just follow my nose. The Kellogg's Fruit Loop cereal. Now with more fruit flavor. It's part of this complete breakfast. Mmm, best news I've heard all day. Another bowl? Sure. Extra, extra. <laughs> What's your favorite dinosaur marker? I like Ankylosaurus. One of six dinosaur markers free in Fruit Loops, even Tyrannosaurus Rex. Where's Rex? <gasps> you know, sitting here going through all this stuff, man, somebody just had at it with this book, man. They checked off Miss Marvel's face. They checked off, wow, pretty much everybody on the uh, Marvel you know, order book here. I just check marks on everything. This is weird. Somebody went nutty with the check marks. Nutty, I says. Nutty. That's one of the unfortunate things is, is that people, back when they were kids, man, nobody took care of books. I mean, I didn't. I got. I still got my old uh, Star Wars comics where legitimately I read them till the covers fell apart. I didn't get the covers ripped off. The covers just fell apart because I read them so many times. Uh, I still have them in my collection. People go, why do you still have those? I'm like, because they're mine. I've had them since I was like four. They're not going nowhere. They're always going to stay in my collection. All right. So I hope you guys still like any Cowboys and Moon Mesa because we're still going. Down the action route. We're doing some mask. We're bringing some mobile armor strike command to you guys. And uh, man, this this is another product. Another another man. Do for a reboot. I mean, I know we got the, the the toys coming out from Ramen Toys. That's awesome. But we need a good mask reboot. With new toys, new weapons. We had Vortec, which is kind of a mass knockoff. And some people think it's Mass Point 2.0. Um, Look it up. Uh, but, man, not, nothing quite as cool as them first first couple seasons of Mask. Once they got into the hard light holograms, it was just a little weird. But here we go. This is Mask, episode 12, and this is Solara Park. Enjoy. Enjoy. a Greek island. I've had the Thunderhawk shift ahead. Exploring? No way. I'm too tired. Tired? Your first trip to the Aegean Sea and you say you're tired? Getting here is what made me tired. Is sailing stuff is hard work. You're the one who wanted to learn all about crewing on a sailing ship. Crewing? You mean slaving. Looks like mutiny, Matt. I'll stay with them if you want to go ahead. Okay. Crew is hereby granted one day to be lazy. See you later. Be careful. Every muscle in my body hurts. Mine too. You're a machine. 
You can't be tired. Can I be overloaded? Low on power, worn out and in desperate need of an overhaul? Yes. Then that's what I am. I'd never want to go sailing again. Hoist the mizzen mast, gaff the jibs, mow the yard arms. Next, they'll probably want us to put out the fire. What fire? The one up there. Bruce, fire! We're on fire! Man the boats! Robots and children first! Keep up! Here I come! God! Bruce! Oh, I'm exhausted. <sighs> what happened, Bruce? Oh. <sighs> I don't know, Matt. I never saw anything catch fire so fast in my life. Well, first we'll find a hotel for these two. Then you and I are going to do some investigating. Oh, I'm taking an airplane home. I don't get it, Matt. Why look up here if the ship caught fire down at the ocean? Scott said the fire started at the top of the sails and came down. So whatever started it must have come from outside the ship. From higher up, maybe we can see. Huh? Everything within this circle is burned to a crisp. It sure is. The heat must have been incredible. What could cause something like this? I have no idea. But I'll lay odds that it was the same thing that hit the mast of our ship. Come on. I'm punching in the location of this spot in our ship. Thunderhawk's navigational computer should be able to triangulate and give me... Ah, there we go. The blast of heat came from that direction. Let's see what's out there. Well, I don't see anything that looks like it could create a giant heat ray, do you? No. I do see a giant, though. Huh? Oh, I read about this place. It's the New Solaria Amusement Park. It's supposed to open next week. That statue of the Greek god Zeus is the park symbol. What an impressive-looking amusement park. The whole island is owned by some eccentric millionaire. It's mayhem in Switchblade. Is he the eccentric millionaire? I don't know, but he's sure mad about something. He's always mad about something. Mask, I've got to keep them away from here. They could ruin everything. He knocked out the lasers. Hang on to your stomach. Solaria Park. He's still right on our tail. Okay. Let's see if he'll follow this move. This is almost too easy. Satellite link. Matt Tracker calling Boulder Hill Computer. Ready. Encoded transmission. 
Select mask agents best suited for mission in Mediterranean. Recommended personnel, Bruce Sato, mechanical engineer and design specialist. Brad Turner, expert motorcycle and helicopter pilot. Vehicle code name, Condor. Hondo McLean, weapons specialist and field strategist. Vehicle code name, Firecracker. Dusty Hayes, auto and marine stunt driver. Vehicle code name, Gator. <laughs> Gloria Baker, champion race driver. Black belt in Kung Fu. Vehicle code name, Gator. Function, co-pilot. Selection complete. Personnel approved. Assemble Mobile Armored Strike Command. What do we know about Solaria Park, Matt? Nothing. We learned that the construction was all done in secret. So it's up to us to find out what's really going on out there. You got it. Let's move. Again, they sink. I've had enough jumping overboard. Thank you. I hate getting wet. So, uh, this is Greece. It's beautiful. Yes, it is, but we've got no time for sightseeing. Solaria Park is still a few miles across the sea. Let's move it. to complain, but uh, Firecracker doesn't exactly float you. Sit tight, Hondo. We haven't forgotten about you. The bird of prey has not only wings for flying, but feet for lifting. Lift up. On. <laughs> Keep an eye open, everyone. If Venom is on that island, they're sure to see us coming. Roger. Better keep one peel behind you, cowboy. There's something following you. I know, and it's not a fish. Let's see if you can outdrive a heat-seeking torpedo. Watch it, Matt. We got company, too. Whoa! I feel like a baby swinging in a cradle. Hang on. I'll get it. It's too deep. The lasers won't penetrate. Well, I'm running out of fancy turns. In another second, that thing's gonna be in our back seat. Gloria, can't you give it a nudge with the aura mask? Not while it's underwater, but, but maybe we can bring it up with a whirlpool depth charge. Next 
time he comes back, lift me up and turn me around. You'll do, Hondo. But what for? The Hypno Headlights. Uh, have to hit the autopilot. Fast thinking, Hondo. We'll be in dreamland until we can get you to the island. This is gonna be close. He's behind those rocks. Let's get him. Oh, no. He's gone. I don't get it. He ought to be right here. He clean disappeared. Start checking out the island, Hondo. We're going after mayhem. Go get him, Matt. He's going behind the island. Stay in his tail, Brad. I'll go over the island and cut him off. Roger. going, Miles. You got a surprise coming. Where did he go? Yep, Sly Rax pulled the same shenanigan on us. Gone like a ghost. So what's our next move, Matt? Start searching the whole island? Dig not with the hands when the shovel lies waiting. Oh, Bruce, holy cow. He just means that whatever Venom is up to, Solaria Park must be involved. It's the obvious place to start looking. Boy, look at all the rides. This place will be great when it opens. Spread out, everyone. Look for, well, look for anything suspicious. I knew they'd go to the park. So, it's almost high noon. They can't stop us now. <laughs> Come on, Gloria. Let's start in the fun house. <laughs> you never change, do you, Dusty? Nothing suspicious in here, just funny mirrors. Just a second, Dusty. Look at this. Must be some kind of piston. But why here? Matt, this is Hondo. I'm in the video arcade, only there's something weird about it. There aren't any video games. Just a big, dark building full of mirrors. Lots of mirrors. We're finding the same sort of thing, Hondo. The rides, the buildings. Everything is just false fronts and mock-ups. Nothing in Solaria Park is real, except these silly mirrors. Hey, Mayhem, are you going to let them have it? In due time, I'll unleash enough power to control the entire Mediterranean area. What happened to the bad guys? They lose their nerve? The farther the water goes out, the bigger the wave that returns. Right. Keep on your toes, everyone. They're up to something. Greetings, masked fools. Welcome to Solaria Park. Woo! Sounds like that big wave Bruce was talking about. Look! Get moving. We've got to get out of here before we're all trapped in this machinery. Must be the biggest solar collector in history. And there's its heat ray. 
It can use that mirror to direct the main mirror's energy in any direction. And those solar energy collectors will store energy so the statue will be invincible, even at night. Let's move it. If I'm right, no weapon on Earth will be able to get near that thing once it's fully charged up. What first, Matt? We've got to get the Thunderhawk's thermite bombs down to the base of the statue. But Matt, that old bomb won't get through a heat ray. It'll blow before it ever reaches the statue. Not if we all do our part. Ah, our hero's coming. I'll give him a taste of just minimum power. Whoa, it's stronger than I thought. We got our work cut out for us. A difficult target, but I'll get him. Matt, I'm pushing the condor to the limit. Any harder, and my engine will blow. Okay, Brad, we're ready here. Lift up! Oh! Mm, they gave up too easily. What? Those fools think they can stop me. It's our turn, Dusty. Let's get out of here. We'll just have to keep our fingers crossed. I've got to melt that ice, but I still don't have full power. Let's get out of here. No, no! At seven years per mirror, I figure Venom just landed about 60 million years of bad luck. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you're a little young to be working on cars, aren't you? I hope you're doing it safely. Oh, sure I am. I have the handbrake set really tight and all the wheels blocked. Well, that's good. Uh, just whose car is this anyway? It's yours. We knew how much you missed the old Thunderhawk, so we all worked double time to get this new one ready. Ah, uh, thanks. in the battle between Tex Hex and Marshall Bravestar. Bravestar! Now you've got the Neutralizer and Neutralizer Target, the weapon that really shoots invisible electronic beams to blast your enemy's target. Gotcha! But now Tex Hex attacks. Look, he's on a Neutralizer Target. Can you and Bravestar blast it? Ah! Awesome! 
join the battle. Blast the outlaws with the neutralizer. New from Brave Star. Batteries not included. Toy sold separately. Assembly required. <laughs> Terror and Strafer attack. Max Ray calls step charger. Energize. Torpedo. Thrusters. Canopy down. Dive. The villains trap Max. Energize. Mode 2. Hydromite. Missiles. Speed strike. Attack. Power extreme. Step charger comes as shown. Figure sold separately. New from Kenner. You know, crazy part. That cat will be quiet all day long. All day long. I start filming as soon as I break out the camera. That you hear the cat. Cat's weird. It, it will time it, I think. So I don't know. Maybe maybe some electrical fieldy. You know, like why a cat will lay on a keyboard. Hmm. So I hope you're liking Mask. We're keeping it going. Still going. Still going strong on this action hour, or action hours plurals. Almost four. <clears throat> and we're bringing you some Conan the Adventurer. Um, Conan's fun, man. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I still I love Conan. I collect the heck out of Conan. Um, collect, excuse me. I collect all the the I collect the Marvel runs, the Savage Sword of Conans. I got trade paperbacks. I got the DC the DC, the Dark Horse stuff. I got now the Marvel back in. I got the a Blaze Comics, which Marvel lost the, the rights again to Conan. And now that's with another company. Now Blaze is doing it. Uh, but a Blaze is printing previously published stuff as the Sumerian and not Conan. So, <clears throat> I know some European company has the rights to Conan now. So, we'll see how that goes. Uh, but this is Conan. This is episode 5. And this is the heart of Rakir. I sense power. What have we here? Stars and Hazra! It is returned. upon his family by driving the evil serpent men back into another dimension and vanquishing their leader, the cruel wizard Rathamon. Red jewel, eh, the size of six fists. <laughs> Did you hear Mermaid sing too, old man? No, uh, but the jewel, it glowed and pulsed like, like a demon's heart. Ah, Conan, stop! Fishermen tell big important story. Needle want to listen. Ah, ah. I'll tell you a story after I've had a good meal. But Needle had memory. Memory from Phoenix Ancestor. Magic jewel bring big sea monster. Needle want to hear more. Sounds serious. Come on, Conan. Wait, when do I eat? Uh, excuse me. Uh, any time, lass. This, this island rose out of the sea and th there stood a ruined temple. And within the temple, a giant red jewel. There's no jewel that compares to thee, lass. <laughs> the lass is with me, you red-bearded jackal. Come on. Oh, you come? 
Yes. This is a moment that even your incompetence cannot destroy. It can't? Come, look into that smoke. I will explain. Eight thousand years ago, the legendary island of Atlantis was attacked by a gigantic sea serpent, Rakir. No weapon known to man could harm him. <laughs> Dregs? I crawled in my coils, master. I could make it permanent. Now listen, Rakir could be controlled by a great red jewel known as the Heart of Rakir. Hermetrius, master wizard of Atlantis, found the jewel. And with it, he took control of the sea serpent, forcing Rakir to return to the bottom of the sea where he fell into a sorcerer's sleep. Whoever controls the jewel can awaken Rakir. Then, the king of Atlantis ordered it destroyed. No weapon on Earth could even scratch it. So Hermetrius covered the jewel in spells. Spells that only a hero of Atlantean blood could pass through unharmed. As a final protection, a great phoenix was set to guard the jewel. But then, a giant earthquake struck. Now Sumeria and became barbarians. For eight millennia, the heart of Rakir was hidden. Now it has returned. I saw it! I saw it with my own eyes! A, a jewel worth a hundred fortunes! A hundred fortunes? Oh, stand back, you Sumerian cur! For a jackal from Vanaheim, I'll... All right, all right, the circus is closed. There'll be no fighting amongst the animals. Mates, gather round. I'll take a shipload of the strongest and bravest of you to claim this gem and live like kings. Who'll sail with me? I'm with you. Good, good, I've got one place left. Who'll take it? Me. I'll go. Sumerian cur, out of my whale you'll learn how real men fight. There's nothing a dear man ape can teach me. We'll see about that. Now I'll teach a veneer maggot to crawl. Ah. Uh, Sumerian snake, veneer maggot vulture. Ah. Enough. <laughs> I'll take you both. And what about me, Captain? A woman? Ha! Go back to your cooking pots. Women are bad luck at sea. Aye, aye. And now fetch your own pots, Cook. We leave at once. Jasmine, if you can't go, I won't either. Ah, can't stay. Must go. Bad jewel bring big, big, big sea monster. Ah, what? Very well. I'll see you when I get back. You'll see me sooner than that. Oh! 
Yes, smells like a Bessonian outhouse. It's an old Shadazar recipe. <laughs> By the hand of Thranikos, this is poison! I'll teach you not to ruin my food! Keep your hands off me! <laughs> Woman. I'm good enough to toss you. Jasmine! She's that woman from Zengara! The cook was right! She'll bring us bad luck! Then let's throw her overboard! See how lucky she is with the sharks, huh? Hey, she can't cook! Yeah! Bad luck. Come, Come on, on, let's throw her over! Come on! Come near me and your fish food! She is only one! Come on! Count again! And again! Come on, <laughs> I love a good fight. Seven to one makes the odds almost even. Captain! Pirates! They're going to ram us! Crush Conan! Crush! The Crown will send their bones back to the sea bottom! Yeah! <laughs> of the kill will be mine. <laughs> Hiromitrius! Your ancient spells are no match for the power of Set! You are powerless against us! these things. And we're not the only ones with star metal weapons. Look! You lose, sly breath. Not bad, but watch this! You hate old balls! Drinks! You will go in and get me? Yes, you. But, but, but I can't. I, I've got another cramp in my coils. I'll give you more than a cramp. Go! Don't you fall away. There's someone who can get the jewel. Who? C -c -c Conan! He's a Sumerian, a descendant of Atlantis. The spell won't hurt him. Conan? Yes, of course. Perhaps you do have some use, you miserable little slug. Oh, thank you, Master. Windfang! At this moment, Skullcar is trying to destroy Conan. Stop him! Yes, Master! That's Winfang, the cowardly dog. He's not the only coward, look. That captain and crew will taste my steel if we ever meet again. Crow, we're heading for... 
for the island. This is a trap. One we will use to get the jewel. Don't worry. <laughs> Nothing to fear. You have me here, lads. A Vanierman? Against Rathamon? Ha! You know, you both have star metal weapons. That must mean something. So our blades were both forged from some stars that fell from the sky. And we've been fighting side by side. Huh, maybe we were meant to. The heart of Rakir, right there for the taking. Come on! Ah, no, stop! Too dangerous! Ah! Those things have snag. Come on! Ah! No! Not safe! Only Conan! Crom! Ah! Ah! You shall pay for your trespass! Ah! Wrong! I'll pay for him with steel! fortunes. Ah! Jewel must be destroyed ah! before very bad sea serpent wake up! Ah! Ah! Then I will destroy it! No! <laughs> At last, the heart of Rakir is mine! Rakir, awake! I, Rathamon, command you! Snag, 
My sword isn't enough! Then we strike together! Now! Windfang! You have escaped me, barbarian! But Rakir will have his revenge! Rakir is sinking back into sleep. And this time, nothing can wake him up again. One more earthquake, and that sea will have us. That sea will not take me without a fight. Conan, the sea shall not take you at all. Ah, these ghosts of Harrow Metrius! I have come to reward your bravery, distant son of Atlantis, and that of your friends. And you, young Phoenix, for a few fleeting moments, you will be the great bird of your destiny. Harometrius, I am at your service, as my ancestor was before me. Then before my spell is undone by the swallowing sea, fly your friends to safety! Farewell! Thank you, Needle. You are quite welcome, Jasmine. It was an honor to be of service. What? What? It's happening! Needle oh, is baby again. Poor Needle. You'll be a great phoenix soon enough. Come on, let's get you some pomegranates. You've earned them this day. Well, I'm hungry enough to eat a sea serpent. Needle can't wait to grow up and be big and strong. And when Needle grow up, Needle eat pomegranates all day long. Huh, why growing up takes so long? Needle wants to be big now! Conan, the adventurer. Conan, warrior without fear. He's more powerful than any man. His legend spreads across the land. Quest to undo the spell of living stone cast upon his family by driving the evil serpent men back into another dimension and vanquishing their leader, the cruel wizard Rathamon. Conan, the adventurer. This is a claw, and you control it. C-L-A-W, the controlled land action wagon. Batteries not included. Play people sold separately. The power shifter lets you control the speed, forward or reverse. Power steering lets you control direction. It climbs with ferocious front-wheel drive that claws up hills and roars over the earth. The claw. And you control it. The claw with power shifter. Play people sold separately. New from Tonka. collector my entire life pretty much I don't ever remember not collecting comics um, and one of the best parts about collecting comics is running out of room uh, I can legitimately have a room floor to ceiling with nothing but comics and that's not including what I have at home so and that's there's a lot of Conan's in there and there's there's mass comics there's biker mice from mars there's all yeah because yeah, 
I'm an idiot and I collect all that stuff. So I hope you guys are still liking Conan. Uh, I will. I think I'll always have a soft spot in my, in my heart for Conan. Uh, and as my wife says, she's really surprised I've never named one of our animals Conan. Uh, and I'm really surprised too. I just never. Hmm, weird. I had, a dog, I had a dog named Thor, but not a dog named Conan. So we're going to keep it going. And we're bringing you Robocop Alpha Commando. And this is episode 8. And this is Robo Racer. Because, you know, they had to give Robocop skates on his feet. So here you guys go. Hope you enjoy. Robocop. Okay, Metalhead, let's rock! Thought you had me, huh? I got you now! Take this, and this, and that, and these! Ah! <laughs> Yes, I did it! I beat Metalhead! Oh, no one can beat my score now, Murphy, man or woman! <clears throat> should I have to go? Whenever Alpha says an assignment is big, it means I get shot at. For real. Alpha Prime said to bring both of you. You should have turned left at that last intersection. I know the way to the airport, thank you. Hey, chicky, chicky, chicky! Woo! Check it out! Wanna race, baby? No. Oh, maybe you need to let a man drive, sweet meat. Maybe he won't be chicken. Minor, I. You have begun to exceed the legal speed limit. Taught them a lesson. Tell them I, I was against the whole thing. License and registration. Oh, it's you, Agent Minor. If I'd known it was you and Murphy, I wouldn't have pulled you over. She was speeding. You have to give her a ticket. Thanks a lot. Mr. Perfect. We take our traffic laws seriously here in New Detroit, Agent Miner. You'd better add a safety citation, too. One of your turn signals is not working. The President of the European Union will sign a treaty next week, pledging international cooperation in the fight against Dark, the Directorate of Anarchy, Revenge, and Chaos. We have information that Dark will try to keep the European President from signing the treaty by kidnapping her son, Leopold Lebed. 
Leopold is a car racing enthusiast, driving in the Paris to Dakar endurance rally. The Sahara Desert? No, I, I can't go there. All that sand would play havoc with my sinuses. <laughs> Division Alpha has arranged for Miner and Newmeyer to replace a two-person team who had to drop out because of car trouble. Robocop will shadow Leopold's car from outside the race. All systems go, Murphy. Good luck. Luck? Why are you saying that? Does he mean we're gonna need luck? I especially don't like falling in A driver we did not see at the start. Perhaps she was busy powdering her nose. <laughs> we had mechanical trouble. Try letting the man drive. Maybe then your troubles would go away. And if you were Leopold, you would not be afraid to drive alone. If I were Leopold, nobody could stand to ride with me. <laughs> <laughs> If it's romance you're after, shall we? Blow it out your exhaust pipe. I'm a special security agent assigned to protect you. There may be an attempt to kidnap you, to get at your mother. Before anyone can kidnap me, they have to catch me. And no one can do that, especially lady babysitters. Sand is harder than it looks. Sewing so device. Wow, Shelly. I don't expect I will see you again today. <laughs> How long till they let us start? Last in, last out. Maybe I'll grab a shower. May your travels though be broken winds of the sacred camel. Murphy? What's with the robes? Just something I whipped up. If you can keep close behind Leopold, I'll stay alongside to back you up. I'd rather take the lead and let him stay behind me. We're here to protect him, not to teach him a lesson. It'd be nice to do both. Skis. Fan. Leg jets. Not. Leopold is in the lead. Our target is making it easy for us. Take the driver of the lead car. If anyone tries to stop you, destroy them.
Looks like he's got car trouble. Mm, we'll have to go back for him. Why'd you pass him if you're just gonna let him catch up? Sorry, Newmeyer. I didn't mean to. He just makes me so mad with that old world arrogance. I go nuts. There's no sign of any dark operatives. <laughs> Get in the car! Get down! Make up your mind! you could use some assistance. ourselves together and get moving. Who or what are you? Your police escort, sir. I need to borrow your car, Mr. Levitt. Official business. More babysitters. No, I will finish the race alone in this car. If I can fix the front end. Uh, I can fix it. I feel like a hood ornament. Hold still. I, I'm connecting you to the car's electronics. You say this woman, Nancy Miner, was kidnapped in my place. They probably mistook her car for yours because she was in the lead. Then I must help to rescue her. As a Frenchman, I can do no less. I, I'm not French. I'm not even Canadian. Does that mean I can stay here? I can't let you endanger yourself, Mr. Levitt. How can you protect me unless I'm with you? 
He's right. I can't leave him behind. Hop in! Vive la France! We could follow these tracks faster if I were driving. Can you turn the radio off? Sorry. I see something up ahead. A sandstorm is approaching. If it wipes out the tracks, we may never find Agent Miner. We've captured Leopold. You are idiots. That is not Leopold. But, Erg, you said the driver of the first car. That is a woman. Thanks for noticing. The sandstorm is getting closer. Take her outside and let the sand scour the flesh from her bones. Surely you can do better. 
better than that? I hope so. Turn on the witch. Turn on the witch. What are you doing? Winning. Is the Earth destroyed? Yes. I guess he just needed to unwind. Sand! I am never going to the beach again. I hate that gritty feeling in my teeth. Can you get my car running again? My car's still running. You could use it to finish the race, but I'll have to go with you. I, to protect you. <laughs> Which one of us will drive? We'll take turns. Newwire and I will meet you in the car. The car's inside. Come on, I'll race ya. How are we gonna get to the car? By air. Saved us. He can't make it that far. I've already radioed for the Division Alpha jet to pick us up. I don't think they can land out here. They are going to land. Oh, no. Oh, no, please, no. Tell me you're joking. Okay, I'm joking. with one to grow on. Hey! What are you guys doing? Then your business shrimp, now feed it! That's a tough one. There's nothing wrong with playing a practical joke once in a while. I've played a few in my day. But if you see that somebody's idea of a joke is liable to hurt somebody, then you've got to do something about it. That's not being a tattletale. That's just plain common sense. Hey, mister, somebody's playing with those swings over there, and they're gonna fall if somebody plays with them. Hold it, kids. That swing is dangerous. Hey, good work. I'll take care of those other guys. They hang out on the other side of the park. Thanks for helping out the other kids. And that's one to grow on. An all-terrain walker! It's invading hot! From Kenner's Star Wars, the Empire Strikes Back collection, new Hoth ice planet that you put together. You can make the elevator go up or down. Hoth! New Imperial Stormtrooper, Rebel Soldier, and Han Solo action figures each sold separately. Get him, Han! When you push the action lever, Stormtrooper falls. Now's my chance to sneak in. I'll cover you with the radar laser cannon. Off Ice Planet from Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back Collection. Action figures each sold separately. New from Kenner. Hey, hope you liking Robocop Alpha Commando. Um, I'm a sucker for Robocop. Not gonna lie. I've got the comics, I've got some toys, I got the movies, the DVDs, I got some VHS tapes. Because Robocop. Alright. That being said, we've come to the end of the day. I have nothing past the credits this week. Um, we're going to mix it up again next week. I'm trying to put something together next week. So we're, we're going we're to come up with something cool next week. And the cat's over irritating the crap out of me today. 
So, like I said, as soon as I turn the camera on, boom, instantly. Row, row. So, that being said, remember, every Saturday, we're here. Uh, Saturday Morning Serials is also on the Monster Channel every Saturday and Tuesday morning. We're showing old episodes. Sci Friday, every Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And remember, every Monday at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time, Group Therapy TV, uh, we have a cool interview coming up with the special effects guy from Feast and Hellraiser and a bunch of other movies, Gary Tunnicliffe. We'll be there. We did an interview at the Haunted Screams Expo with Gary. And Gary is a pretty blunt guy, man. He's he's very he doesn't care who he you know, he he'll tell you how it is. So we'll have an interview with him coming up. And now group therapy or we have the Patreon up and running. You can check it out at Patreon backslash Group Therapy TV. Uh, right now, the only thing we have is weekly shout outs, but we're getting ready to put some other stuff together. Uh, remember, next week we're going to have the giveaway for a prize pack. So don't pay attention to the set now because the set will probably be completely different, but something will disappear off the set somewhere during the episode, and then you got to figure out what it was. And at the end of the episode of this, in while it airs, Saturday morning, you let me know what was missing. So, all right. I'm going to let you guys go for the weekend. You guys have a great day. I'm going to rest my voice because it's still not 100%. And uh, hopefully next week when I film, <clears throat> I won't have that problem. Maybe I'll get rid of all this crap. Um, not going to lie. I got the, got the COVIDs back in uh, January. And uh, I used to never get sick. And, man, it hit me hard this week. It sucked. So, all right. Take care of y'all, and I'll see y'all there. Bye.